it's the final countdown. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Um, we are in season 39, and this is the final war of the season. Whew. And looks like we're going up against an alliance called Storm's Brew. All right, let's take a look and see who they've banned. They did not ban Gallon, so I like them already. Don't know if they're going to actually be trying this uh, war. We're pretty much locked into Platinum 3. Uh, let's see. Yep, yep, yep. All that looks good. So let's see what we're facing in this final war. Okay. I hate fighting uh, long shot, but I think um, Gallon should be fine. See a Nimrod over here. Hmm. Yeah, Nebula could do that one. It's a little annoying because you have to use up the masochism before you fire off her. Um, her electro shocks. Ooh, all right. Omega Sentinel, I can do that. Okay, Claire for those. Oh, Thing. What the hell? I have not seen Thing in a long time. As a defender, huh? Hmm. Ooh, yeah. Let me think about that one. The only thing with with uh, that one, I would do uh, Nick Fury, but that never back down can be a pain, and he would be constantly uh, regenning. Um, I would bring in, yeah. That might work. I could bring in Warlock for that fight, if need be. And Gallon actually could uh, do that fight as well. Huh. Okay. So, Gallon, Warlock, and Claire. Yeah. I think that's what we'll do. Gallon, Warlock, and Claire. We haven't uh, brought Warlock in for a long while. But uh, Gallon can take that mini. Warlock could take that uh, other mini there. Leaving the first mini for uh, my alliance mate here. Yeah, I think that'll work. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, so last war of the season. I get to use Gallon, so that's awesome. We got Claire, and I brought in Warlock in case I'm needed to take the uh, last mini. Now, I was worried about Longshot. Longshot can be really bad. You generally don't want to push him to his special two. So, my thoughts going into this was to get the fight over with as quickly as I can. Bait out his special one as I need to, and just take him down, all right? So he's not getting any armor ups. So I'm doing medium light medium to build up the planetary mass, all right? He's at a special one now. I wanna kinda back off and just let him fire that off. Okay, there we go. Medium light, medium again. Let him fire that off. All right, and just keep doing that. Just keep baiting out the special ones. And we're almost at a special two, so we're gonna parry heavy. This is Sparta! Boom! And he's down. Just like that, wash, rinse, and repeat. Love my gallon. No regrets taking this guy up. Absolutely none. Whew. Definitely, definitely, um, Gallon is a, a beefy boy. Now we've got 
Super Scroll. And I know he gets armor ups. Now, the thing that I was not sure about was um, I think his armors, they're not passives, because I know I can armor break them and, and nullify them. So I figured I'd be good. Look at the planetary mass. Look at that. You see I'm doing five hit combos now because he has armor ups and it's doing a power burn. Look at, look at my planetary mass. This fight is over. Boom, boom, boom. Skidoosh. Just like that. Nice and smooth. Now, I was waiting for my alliance mate to take this fight. I normally don't take that first fight. We usually have a little um, agreement where um, Mad Mardigan was taking the first one. And then I would take like the second one and maybe the third one. However, um, I got hit up by um, Dipper, who takes path two. And he was about to go in and he wanted to know if I was planning to take this one or if I was expecting him to. Now, here's the thing. I didn't realize just how good Gallon would be for this fight. And he pointed out something that I just did not know or forgot. Gallon is not just power burn, but power lock. And because of how Nimrod does, you remember how he power locks you? And you know you get planetary mass when you are either power burned, power locked, all that. Look at my planetary mass. And he said, the fight should take you 20 seconds. That's what he said. He sent me um, a message saying that fight should take 20 seconds. And he was right. Look at that. Fight was over really quick. And I want you to see how long that fight took. And I told him too. I was like, bro, you called it. You called it, man. Look at that. 20 seconds on the dot. I was like, okay. And um, I'm also going to be taking this next fight here. Now, I was tempted to wait for them to use their energy because I could have done it all in one run and then, you know, gone to bed. But I was like, you know what? Uh, let me just go ahead and clear them. And that way, I'll just go to bed. And when I get up in the morning, I'll finish uh, my path. The other reason is because I was uh, going for a champion as a five star. Not a hard grind, but because I was also going to be doing a Karina challenge, which I just finished doing. Um, I did the, uh, dim uh, not dimensional beings, the... Um, machine learning one with the robots. Uh, I did that one. I wanted to grind a little bit harder so I could get as much done early because I wouldn't be doing my normal grind during the uh, live stream. Now, this time, I'm not even going to try to avoid doing um, the same attack in a row. Just going to do medium light medium, bait out her special. That seems to work really good. Okay? And that I was trying to parry, and I noticed that it failed. Because at that time, I was like, parry, heavy, boom. You know? But sometimes, when they know you're going for it, sometimes your parry just fails. And so I was ready for it. I said, okay, uh-huh. I knew you were going to fail my parry. And so I just waited, backed off, reset, tried again, got it. Just got to be ready for the shenanigans and you're good because that would have been me getting smacked up wondering why saying I know I did a good parry. But anyway, so I used up, you know, my energy just to get here. And then I didn't go to bed right away because I like I said, I was in the arena and I was up late and then got up early. And I had a message. You can see what time is left. Uh, I grinded in the morning, fell asleep, woke back up, and uh, one of the guys, he was just checking to see if everything was, was okay before he went in. 
but he tagged me and was asking me, he was like, let me know when you clear your path. And I'm like, why? I'm not holding up anybody. And sometimes I would wait for them to finish the boss because I'm not blocking anybody. And that would make my life easier if I'm facing any defenders that are making use of the global. And so I was confused, but he said, yeah, I'm just, I just wanted to make sure everything was okay. You know, because then he could come in, clear my path and then move on. And, you know, we would get uh, the exploration. So I understood why he was asking, but it did confuse me a little bit at first. Now look at what happened. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, when that pop-up happens, it really distracts me. And I forgot to put Do Not Disturb on the pop-up uh, notification. And then what happened is I tried to swipe it away while I was fighting. And I didn't get it quite. And it did the tap and went to the uh, other game that uh, that notification came from. So I'm just like, all right, but, you know fair we didn't get hurt it didn't do anything and i wasn't too worried because i could always heal up if i needed to uh, as long as i didn't get taken out completely but we did it we got we took her down uh took him down and this next fight you can see i learned i was like no that's not gonna happen again turn that off uh this fight you can see they've already taken down the uh, mini. So, like I said, I was I was confused because I was like, "What? Well, I'm not holding anybody up. Finish the boss island, take the boss down. Good." But anyway, um, I'm gonna show you why I often worry about using uh, Black Widow here. Watch. Bam. See, I have the um, shock on me, even though I nullified it. That's why. But it's a weak shock. So it's not really that big of a deal. Claire is perfectly fine. Um, you don't need a shock immune. It's a very weak shock. Um, you can also use Havoc here. Um, actually, no, because he has the armor ups. I was thinking of the shock. Um, as long as it's not uh, somebody that gets those armor ups uh, all the time like that. But otherwise, uh, you might be able to use Havoc. Gets a shock on him and he'll just plasma detonate them to death. Um, but for me, Claire, perfect. Perfectly fine here. Works great. If the shock had built up somehow, I would have just switched to Curse of Blood and healed up. So anyway... That was it for my participation in the final war of the season, and we'll be back, and you'll find out just how this war ended. And we're back, and for the last war of the season, we got totally rocked. I'm not sure what went on. I think folks were just done, because whether we win or lose, we were still going to be in Platinum 3. So I have a feeling that's just what was behind this. You can take a look here. You can see, you know, we, we, we got rocked. We got rocked, okay? Um, but the season is over and done with. We're probably going to get Platinum 3. We should have Platinum 3. Um, let me see. Get over. There we go. Yeah. So... Um, we should have no problem hitting the Platinum 3 uh, ranking with our current rank there. All right, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.